On November the 23rd, the Syrian Arab Army, SAA, the Tiger Forces and their allies continued their operation against ISIS on the western bank of the Euphrates. Pro-government forces have established control of the villages of Mahan, Kiriya, Subaihan, Kashma and Tashrin. On the same day, Tu-22 M3 strategic bombers struck ISIS positions in the province of Deir Azor after having flown around 2,000 kilometers from Russia. The strike hit ISIS manpower, vehicles and strongpoints near Arkatia. On November the 24th, the SAA and its allies advanced further towards Abu Kamal. In southwestern Aleppo, clashes are ongoing between the SAA and Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, formerly Chapat al-Nusra, the Syrian branch of al-Qaeda, in the villages of al-Rashidya and al-Hajara. Pro-government sources claim that the SAA has recently deployed reinforcements to the area. However, this has not helped the government forces as yet. In western Ghouta, the SAA liberated the village of Baitima from Hayat Tahrir al-Sham HTS, and engaged militants at Bade Hill, south of the militant-held town of Beit Chin. Once the SAA seizes this important hill, it will be able to establish fire control over the key militant-held town in the area. According to pro-HTS sources, 15 SAA soldiers were killed during the clashes near the hill. Meanwhile, reports appeared in the mainstream media that Washington is not going to withdraw from Syria after the defeat of ISIS. Previously, the US administration had explained its invasion of the country with the need to defeat the terrorist group. Now, it is reportedly seeking to stay there in order to reduce the influence of Iran and the Assad government in the post-ISIS period. On November 23rd, the Iraqi army and the Popular Mobilization Units, PMU, launched a military operation to liberate the remaining ISIS-held border area in western Iraq. According to the PMU media wing, government troops liberated 56 villages, the bridges of al sukariyat al-Aqab and al-Baqa, and the Geneva airport. The army and the PMU destroyed eight vehicle-borne improvised explosive devices, VBITs, belonging to ISIS, and captured three others. They also destroyed three ISIS vehicles and several mortar positions. According to the ISIS-linked news agency AMAC, two suicide bombers attacked a gathering of PMU fighters north of Baiji. There are no confirmed reports on the number of casualties caused by the attack. After the liberation of the Iraqi part of the Euphrates Valley, thousands of ISIS fighters were forced into the desert area at the Syrian-Iraqi border. Some of them are now seeking to infiltrate the government-held cities and to establish criminal networks there. Others have joined the migration flow, which is heading through Turkey to the European Union.